Hello everybody, it's SD Matt Haven here today, and we're going to be taking a look at two of my favorite heavy tanks to be using whenever I'm trying to make silver. These tanks perform extremely good. They were chosen because of what they're capable of. And overall, they're, they're pretty balanced out. In my opinion, they're balanced out. They can handle 10s, they can handle 9s. Um, but with the plus 1, minus 1 matchmaking, making silver right now, totally awesome extremely happy that I can get these out for you guys so you can go through check them out if you like them you know cool get in there have some fun well first things first we have the Kurt one up and up next after this we have the 50 TP prototype now the reason why I choose the Kurt one for well a silver making tank for me is because I, I really enjoy playing the Kurt one this has got to be one of my favorite tier eights to be pulling out I mean, sure, I don't have the gun depression that most other tanks do, but you know what? The thing's armor, it holds up extremely well in a lot of matchmaking. Even against some 10s, the armor can hold up. But with the accuracy bonuses that are right now inside the game, any tank can get down below a 3.5. So it's really hard to be relying on armor. Speed right now is some of the best ways to be going. So... Yeah, the, the Kurt one. It's like, I, I don't really know what else to say about this tank, except for... Man. If you want to talk about something that holds up, this thing, it holds up. And it holds up well. Now, starting off, you know, I, I'm playing with General and Blade. Uh, they're going to be in both of these replays today. We were doing some team coordination, just trying to see everything that we could get out. So far this morning has been really nice to us. We haven't had any outstanding matches, but we've had some moments that we've made really good pushes and just held it together. So, we got General up in front of us. He's rocking in the Barracuda for this match. The next match, we got Blade inside the Barracuda. For whatever reason, Barracuda of the day, those guys are having fun inside of it. It's another tank. It's Swedish. 12 degrees of gun depression. Monstrous a mil one. So if you guys don't have that either, get it out. Right now is the time to be making silver. Plus one, minus one, playing eights. There's almost no other tier to play. Uh, unless you're like me and you want to go pull out your 4,005 and just be an absolute nuisance with hash rounds all day. And then swap down the eights, make a little bit of money, jump back up, repeat the process. You know what? Do whatever. We're here to have fun, aren't we? IS-2 and SU-152. Now, something I want to share with you guys. Right here, what I'm doing on the right side. A while back, I had somebody ask me, what, why am I doing that? Why, why am I, you know, trying to run up a hill? Well, as you can see, hitting the rock in front of me is giving me just the slight difference I need to be able to poke over that hill. You know, so I don't have to run up. I don't have to rely on trying to get my gun depression out. As you can see, some of the rocks getting your tracks on them just gives you that slight elevation to allow you to poke over a ridge line further down or just anything you really need to do. You can work around five degrees of gun depression. You just need to know the map. No positions if you need to. If you don't have enough gun elevation, you know, drive backwards, park yourself up on a rock, get it up in there. Beautiful snapshot over into the Freedom, which is the Super Pershing Tier 8. Lots of spaced armor in the front. I'm a little surprised that went through, actually. But considering that I have APCR as my primary with 221 pin, yeah, that, that was nice. Premium pin inside the Kurt one as well is over 270, so against tier 10s, this thing will hold up. Another little easy finish, 31 damage. It allows uh, General to keep another shell inside the magazine. From what I do know, he did get it off into an another one of the mediums, which in return, is making health get lower. That's what we're right now trying to do. And, ooh, high explosive. Swapped it in as quick as I could, pulled the trigger. Completely missed. It, it went somewhere. And how I swapped rounds without reloading is a new mechanic that they added to the game. It's another piece of equipment called the Advanced Reloader. I've actually been sacrificing gun rammers in order just to be able to switch rounds on the fly. There's no penalty to your reload. You start the reload, you continue to load. And being able to control the engagement by selecting what shell you want to fire does make a massive difference. So ISU-152, he's a little health off in the distance, a complete one hit for us if we can easily land a shell. And here we go, swapped into the high explosive because 
I only load 13 standards. I don't want to go through all of them. And looking around me, I'm going to need them. And Charioteer up top. There we go. 366. Nice and easy. Simple push. Driving up sideways on the hill so we don't have to try and drive over the ridge line to get the gun depression. If you drive sideways up a hill, as you can tell, we have the slant on the side there. Taking a right turn allows me to come over the hill, still stay haul down. And T32, we try... Ah, we missed. Ah, well, you know, can't, can't get them all. We can try, though. We can definitely try. Now, right here, I'm looking at my map and paying attention. I do know that I have a medium on my left. There's a tank destroyer in front. There's a heavy tank all the way, way out in the distance. But I know, from what I can tell, the medium's in a fight with our medium. And here we're coming up. We, ooh, look at that, you des. Hello, you little camo. You son of a gun. You came out of the blue. So, you des three, I, I do know this. Our gun caliber is big enough just to completely overmatch the armor, no matter where we shoot it. 122. No problem overmatching. I, I, I would love to get a high explosive into his side, but swapping back over the standards. There we go, 323 damage dealt. 1,622 spot assist as well from the aggressive gameplay that we were having. Using a high explosive, pound him into the side. Seriously, just solid tank. If you don't got the Kurt one, you, you guys are missing out on a lot of fun inside the Kurt one. Seriously, I don't know what it is about this tank for me, but I fell in love with it <laughs> pretty early. You know, it was one of those tanks that I never got it whenever they first released it. And then this year, 2020, I got my hands on it. And so far, I've put in 200 plus matches in this tank. You know, just for the way it performs inside Tier 8, I'm not going to lie. For me, it feels like it does need a little bit of a debuff. But you know what? I, I've hear, I hear other people talk about it and I hear them say it doesn't hold up well. It's not performing well. I, I guess it's just my play style inside this tank. I really enjoy the current one. Now, coming up, we're down to our last standard. We have no more high explosives. And this is something I'd love to throw out. Boom! 384. And that was our first premium shell of the game, too. We did not fire a single premium shell until we had to. And for a nice good payout of... Never mind, there's MVP. All right, well, we'll check in a second. And look at that, there's Blade! All right, 81,424. We're not running any boosters, nothing really to boost it up a crap load. But you know what? It held together. It went good. Just overall solid tank. The Kurt one's got to be one of my favorites. Up next, we got the 50 TP. This is going to be an absolute menace of a tank. And here I am completely forgetting to swap the media source as I was going over. There we go, Arctic region. Sorry, it's not a movie anymore. It's just me having a, a random cluster. Usually, I'll select my media, then I'll select the scene. That way, it's easier for me just to jump in, continue to have a conversation with you yeah, guys. I reset stuff. Ah, la, 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 la. Okay, here we go. Fast forward just a bit. We're, we're fine. Totally fine. Ah. <laughs> uh. You know, it's going to take a minute to get used to that one. But, um, Barracuda, 50 TP, Hydra. You know, we're, we're top three right here. I'm looking at the matchmaking. I see they got one heavy tank. The rest are mediums, light tanks, one tank destroyer, and artillery that can be a nuisance. So, I'm sitting here. I'm talking the Blade in general. We're, we're just having a conversation about where we want to go, what do we want to do. And Blade told me, make callouts. Where do you want us? So, I'm checking the map now because he said that. I said, let's take a left right here. Let's drop right down. Just go nuts. And, and keep in mind, the 50 TP, I do have a review on, on this tank. This is one of those tanks that it's an all-rounder. Almost no matter what map you end up on, this tank can still perform to the fullest of its ability. No matter what. The thing is just great. You know, your 7 degrees of gun depression off the front of the tank and then your 10 degrees off the side gives this tank a lot of versatility. Along with that, your armor, your pike nose, your driving, 
your your little uh get in, in, the driver's in the front yeah you got that little pike there too for the driver but overall tank is solid it is 440 alpha with the most recent update super massive increase to reload accuracy everything else and there we go 420 first shot of the game breaking in the engine and I'm, I'm telling blade don't stop we're going straight down into this little dip here Ooh, come on dragon we're ready for you 308 441 engine damage you could clearly see that he slowed down the second his engine got hit too now with the advanced reloader you know rather than advanced loader here we go light tank ap swapped over to a high explosive 550 alpha we are maxing out the dpm of this tank every single second that we can so inside the 50 tp we are running with um the advanced loader improved insulation and then the advanced reloader the fourth equipment slot to me kind of doesn't exist we got a t54 e2 coming up behind us i'm telling blade you know take a look behind us we got a problem along with that i'm telling general kick back hold that spot do not push and knowing General, he's like, I want to go. And as he pushes, all of a sudden he spots out everything back there. There's like four tanks. He's trying his best to have some fun. I'm sitting here and I'm telling him, hey, look, I got to come up, assist the General, the T-27. Another great autoloader. However, it is a very situational tank. You can't really rely on it too much on Himmel's Dwarf or an enclosed city map. It's more burst damage. It does really good in Fisherman's Bay, Melanovka, Steps. The General is an overperformer on those maps. Now, right here, I'm watching my map. I see G General's getting absolutely overwhelmed right there at F5. You know, you got the light tanks, you got the mediums, but we got most of the heavy armor, which is the whole reason why we came down this low in the first place. So the General, a little while ago, he called out his reload. He should be loaded. And the way that General's handling this, we need to get back here. We need to provide as much assistance as we can. So Lance and C pushing up. He's definitely not going to crest that ridge line unless he wants to get slapped. And right here, another great use of coming up the side. And ooh, 98 and 245. That was a splash with the high explosive. That, you don't see those often. But, you know, I saw that and I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? I splashed them. That's the way to do it. Problem solved. That's load, load, load high explosives, everybody. Just go nuts. Our first premium round of the game as well. We're up to 2,355, along with 993 blocked. Gotta say, the, the way that they're doing the block now, where it actually gives you the RNG rating of what was blocked, it's pretty cool. You know, it's like, I, I know exactly how much, but it's like, I'd rather know that I just got hit for, you know, 1050, so 1,050 damage, because that lets me know, oh, that's a Yagaru. Oh, no, that's a Death Star. Oh, no, time for me to back up. But either way, you know, if we see a single ricochet pop off and it's a big number, I'm pretty sure, self-consciously, we all want to back up. Now, I'm pretty healthy. I want to make a push. Right here, we've got a high explosive loaded. And I, I I, made that shot. Honestly, the general's sitting there and he's like, holy crap, nice shot. You know, <laughs> that's exactly what was going through my head too. I was sitting there like, I can't believe that hit. Wow, okay. 50 TP accuracy for the win. We are not bolstering the accuracy inside the 50 TP either. We only have one perk to improve it. Well, actually, I think we have two. I, I could be completely wrong. We could be maxing this out all the way. We are maxing this out all the way. Okay. So we have an accuracy build in the 50 TP today. We're sacrificing view range. We're going after repair times, clutch braking, Whatever the last perk is, possibly turret rotation speed, because this is the crew that comes off my 60 TP. And knowing that I took three shots from up there, taking random blind shots. Originally, I was thinking it's got to be the light tank, you know, the autoloader, like the trailblazer, the rip rod, just one of those four variations. But then I was looking at the map and I see one light tank down there, and I'm like, okay, no, no way. I haven't looked at the map yet to check what's on the board still general pulls up and oh man it's like he, he should have learned by me taking you know that half health but blade pulls up and blade has got the turret armor to be able to get up in there so we're gonna be heading around the right side of the rock here 
while I, I believe Blade does have a decent crew on his tank, he is providing a little bit of spot assist. And there's the Trailblazer. So originally, as soon as I saw that Trailblazer, I thought I was clear on the right side. And then, boom, medium tank. I didn't even realize he was there. But we took two shots, ricocheted one, which the hit points we're going to need later. I mean, so far, this is an 8-3. to three. This is a complete wipe of the map. The plays that were made in the center, absolutely fantastic. The 50 TP is definitely a tank worth getting your hands on. Along with this, this position now is open to us. Beforehand, that this wasn't open. There was one way in, one way out. Actually, thousands of ways in, one way out. But they did smooth out some parts of the rocks here to allow us to be able to go down, drop in, come up. And who knows, that might help you guys out with your gameplay later on. And here I am making a mistake against the Trailblazer, completely forgetting about the Pantera. Little snapshot, 431, and his shot, don't know where that went. Now, right here, you know, the light tank's coming up behind me. I'm a little worried, and Blade just tells me, go focus on the Pantera. Don't even worry about the light tank. I got the light tank. So, I did. High explosive for the win. You know, low health enemies, I've been loading a lot of high explosives and standard rounds as of recent. And I've been trying my best to lay off firing the premium rounds. So inside this match here, we shot three premium rounds. We shot all of our high explosives. And we're down to 11 out of 15 for our standards. You know, whenever you're trying to make silver, don't load nothing but premium. Get used to using high explosives. Get used to going absolutely bonkers with just swapping between HE and standards. Learn weak spots. Do as much as you possibly can. You know. So, it was nice to have you guys here. We made 111,000 that match as well. That was a really good match. High caliber, still wall, first class mastery badge. We're on our way to getting our second mark on our 50 TP. Whenever I get that, I'm going to be super stoked. I, I might even share the replay if I, I'm recording at the time. I, I like to slap off of my recordings. Um, but yeah, other than that, you guys are great. You know, welcome. Enjoy my choices for the heavy tanks today. And, uh, if you guys want to catch me over on Twitch, I'll probably be streaming once this is uploaded. So if you have any questions or anything else that, you know, you would like to ask, jump on there, hit me up. I will try my best to reply. It, it is my, my streams are usually more informational strategies and we, we just like to play and goof around. But if you guys got serious questions, hit me up. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, if there's conversation potential, I will try my best to get in and, you know, just have a conversation. If not, you can catch us over on Discord. Um, yeah. Other than that, you guys have a great time. I'm out of here. See you on the battlefield.